Okay. Am I supposed to walk through here without touching those? Hey, what's up guys? Silent Ace here, and welcome back to Heavy Rain. On the last episode, we were playing as Ethan, and the origami killer had given Ethan specific instructions telling him that he had a few trials to complete, and if he managed to complete all the trials that the origami killer gave him, then he would return Sean to him safely. But if he doesn't comply, then Sean's life would basically end. The first trial we completed on the last episode was called the Trial of Courage, I guess. And what we had to do was get the car provided to us by the origami killer and basically drive it down the freeway. Uh, on the opposite side of the freeway. There you go. On oncoming traffic. Five miles straight down in five minutes. And if we didn't manage to make it in five minutes, then basically we failed. And that would mean that Sean dies. But we managed to complete the trial, but the car was totaled. That doesn't matter, but basically it just means that the cops were going to show up to the scene because the car exploded. Ethan managed to get away before the cops arrived, but that's basically where we left off. Now that we're all caught up, let's get right into the gameplay. It's Wednesday, 3.15pm. I don't get what... 2.006 inches? I, I don't get that. I don't know what that is. Whoa, wait, that's the rain. Okay, that's the rain. I get it. That's the rain's height. I just barely got it right now. Alright, turn off the bike. That's so random, though. I mean, I guess it's caught heavy rain, but I didn't think they'd actually pay attention to, like, the, the rain's height. Alright, I guess we gotta go inside of this hotel. Is it a hotel? I think it is. Yo, can we get a cola, though? No, we can't get a cola. Sean disappeared yesterday. It's all over the news, huh? Ring. Well, damn, I hope you wash your hands. Yo, this guy looks like a... Sweetheart. What the hell, bro? What do for you? That voice. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Okay, man. Bro, why you... What's up with you? You good? Are you chewing gum? There you go. Madison, page 27. Oh, great. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. All right. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Damn creep, bro. All right, let's go. Dude, you're gonna leave the bike there? I mean, all right. It's the second floor, right? Well, let's go check it out. I forgot what room he said. I think he said 21, right? 121? I don't know. Room, yeah. Room 201. 201, okay, Stairs well. On the right, last floor. All right, well, I guess this is the final floor. Is Strangers? Is he... Is he wounded? Where? Here? Oh, it's Ethan! Sir? Oh, shit! Right? <laughs> I forgot the car crash probably fucked him up. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. 207, alright. Alright. 207. It's 205. There it is, alright. Have you got the key? Oh. 
Okay, there we go. Alright, he should be fine now. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty... Yeah, I guess. Two broken ribs would feel is bleeding. It looks pretty deep. bad. Alright, let's go look for some bandages. Everything's always in the bathroom. Uh, what's that? Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Well, we don't need that, I think. What about this? Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. Well, he doesn't have high fever, so... What's this? I should disinfect his cuts. Alright, then there you go. Let's go. You gotta be gentle, I think. Wound. This might hurt a little. Be gentle. There you go. Careful. All right. There. At least I won't get infected. Thanks. Now let's go see if we can find anything else. What's this one? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Yeah, we need to give him that. More than one pill every 24 hours. Here, take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. God damn, how many are you taking? Wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. Right. I'm gonna take a shower. Let me help you. I mean, all right. Just please don't make me have to edit some stuff out. I'll wait here until you come out. All right, there Let you me go. Know if you need anything. Bro, you didn't even close the door. No, what? No, stop. Talk to me. Damn. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Madison. No, oh, that's her name, Madison. Are you in the hotel? Insomnia. No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. All right. What else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. Profession. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I. I'm an architect. Yeah, could have just sat here the whole time. Not sure if they would have talked, but. It's better than her looking at him shower. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Well, that's nice. Okay. I better get going then. See you later, Ethan. Don't die. Don't tell me way, you're gonna pass out. You never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan.
Oh, now we're playing as Ethan? Really? Alright. Yeah. Don't take any more pills. Yeah, let's check the shoebox. Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta look back at it. See what else is next. Alright, now we need to do number two, right? The money. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Now I gotta suffer, are you kidding me? I need to go to, to the old power plant? Is that what it said? Well, anything for Sean. It's his son. Okay. Was that the first time? Oh, no shit. It was the first time he killed somebody, right? Sorry? I forgot. First time you killed somebody. I'm pretty sure it is, by the way he reacted, but... It always does something to you the first time. It was still an accident, man. And you get like, used damn. to it. Defensive, aggressive, sincere. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. Oh my god, watch me kill him. somebody else. Let's go. You're a slot porter? Yeah. Watch him run. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. He's gonna run. Yep, knew it. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Nah. Ah. Hey man, watch him. Ah. Come on. We ain't messing around today. I messed up too much last episode. Oh! Ah! Alright, I messed up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no more mistakes starting now. Alright, careful. What? I pressed down. What? Alright, come on. We're right there. Oh damn! Oh shit! This guy, dude. Why are you throwing so much shit around? Ooh. All right. Tackle him! Tackle him! Hell yeah! Now what? He got up and ran again. Dude, why are you throwing? Bro, what am I supposed to press? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to press stuff. Are you kidding me? Why can't I ever hit those? Excuse me. Out of the way. Damn chicken, get the hell off. Hurry. There's no way we're going to lose him. You know, I think it's a bad move for you to take out the gun. Because, uh, if he jumps out, he's going to try to take it. And if he takes the gun, y'all have no choice but to kill him. Where is he? Alright, he's not over here. Okay. Oh, damn! Hell no. How about that shit, huh? Nope. Damn. Dude, how am I supposed to deal with that? Oh, R1, okay. I'm pressing down the fucking- I'm pressing down the joysticks whenever it shows those. I wonder why it doesn't work.
All right, now I know. Now I know. All right, he should be—he should be knocked out already. All right, we got him. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. You know, that's a pretty big assumption. He probably knows something, but I don't think he's the killer. Alright, now we're the detective. Come on, wake up. Oh. Shelby. Wake up! Mm. Been hitting the bottle too hard? Alright, uh, what's down? Oh, can you turn on the lamp? You got any evidence to look over? So many people are looking for this origami killer. Alright, let's get up. Yeah, nothing useful in there. No, I should probably listen to his mindset, see what he... Like, see what I have to do. Uh, fatigue? I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Hmm. Can't breathe this goddamn... Asthma, yeah. Hope it stops raining soon. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars. The kid who disappeared. Yep. Well, that was ringing the door. You said I oh, it's her. could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Of course. Sure. Just step into my office. Coat. Let me take your coat. Now drink. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. All right. Let's get her a glass of water. Do you keep your cups down here, Shelby? Yeah, you do. The hell? Pretty sure everybody keeps their cups somewhere higher, but... To each their own. All right, let's go get her the water. It's just tap water. There you go. Thanks. All right. Now, on to the questions. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? Oh, the same what kind letter of? Ethan got, It probably. was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Huh. Alright. Let's take a look. Alan Winter. Oh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... Yeah? I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Hmm. Diplomacy, firm, clear. Diplomacy. There's nothing you can do to help, Lord. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Pointless, dangerous, alone. Dangerous. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. And she has a letter, so... You're really something special, Lord. Well, it's her son. What do you I'll expect? That. 
I'm just a mother. Yep. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? You know what? I'm down with that. <sighs> We're partners. Alright, where are we going? Oh, we're going to the address. Alright, let's go. This place looks pretty high and mighty. Maybe you better stay in the car. Partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. All right. Just don't cause trouble. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? No, I don't think I it's that. I just have a few questions that need answers. Might be an info guy. Ah, he's one of those party kids, huh? What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What'd you think he paid for all this shiny crap? Who knows? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. All right. Uh. Hi. I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back. You'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Alright, so he's not down here, so he has to be on the higher floor. Oh, of course. Uh, Gordy? Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Um, buy aggressive assistance. I'll buy, I guess. Can we buy him? Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it! I ain't for sale! You know, it makes sense. Gordy's rich, so, you know. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Whoa! You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? Oh, we're gonna start a fight? Go get him. Oh, damn. What the hell? Were you talking about my brother? You have to play monkey in a cheek suit? Alright, let's hurry up. Excuse me, excuse me. I gotta move fast. Alright, hurry up, let's go. Making my our way up. Okay, well, I guess things are back to normal. See in here? Yeah, he must be in here. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. The hell? Introduce yourself, yeah. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem all there. 
Seems like he's got a couple screws <laughs> loose. <laughs> Slapping at a chicken. Or a few chickens. Doing some crazy shit. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness Factual. saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. Mm-hmm. Sounds like he did it, honestly. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Oh, Nothing really? to get excited about, right? Sarcastic. Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? You'll be a nice guy and tell me something I can't believe. Well, it's just gonna start a fight now. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Is he being honest? Ooh. Hell no. How's that, huh? Come on. Come on. Oh, damn, he has a gun. Hell no. Get the hell out of here. How's that, huh? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Hmm. Dude, Shelby's a badass, man. Actually, the origami killer. I mean, he admitted it. I'm skeptical, though. The water is rising. Rainwater. All right, Ethan, we're here. Dude, this episode's very action-packed. Okay, let's make our way inside. Come on. No, oh, we can't open it. Maybe we could find another way in. Can we climb up here?
just gotta be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Careful, Ethan. Anything could happen here. It's abandoned. Can we go in through here? Of course. Would have been too easy. What about the windows? I can't see anything. Did we break it? The main entrance is blocked up. There must be another entrance somewhere. Alright. Maybe the garage? Careful, Ethan. That electricity is making me nervous. Yeah, there's another one right here. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. If anything happens here, they're going to have his blood there, right? Shouldn't he clean it off? There it is. It's all the way down here. I saw it. Uh, origami money was on there. Open up. Matches? So I guess we're going to light one. Hmm. Alright, let's do this. Are you serious? Well, I guess we have no choice but to keep going now. If he wasn't on painkillers right now, he'd be in a shit ton of pain. Oh, there's glass. Ah, oh, damn it! Is this a trial? There's glass all over the place. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. God damn Impossible it. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it. Slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. I got you. Alright, carefully, carefully, left or right? Okay. The match flame it indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Alright then, we're gonna go right. Yep, we're going right. Careful there, Ethan. Yeah. 
Hope his arms don't get all cut up. I'm literally tapping it really like just one time, that's it. Okay, now we need to light another match. Alright. We gotta go left. Careful, Ethan. Careful. Alright, a little more up ahead and then we could light another match. Alright, right here. Check it out. Apparently it's left. Now let's light another match just to make sure. Yep, straight ahead. Alright, we're doing pretty well. Okay, just keep going straight. Come on. Alright, now we gotta check again. Alright, we gotta go right. Alright, we're almost there. Just straight ahead. Okay, we made it. I don't think we got all cut up either. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any blood left behind. Oh my god! We look better. We look, we look good. We look good. We don't look as bad as we could have been. Right. I guess I don't really have any choice. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, there you go. I was supposed to let go. God damn. Be a bad place for you to be if you have claustrophobic. Oh shit. If you're claustrophobic. Have his glass here too. Come on, get up. Oh my god. Okay. Am I supposed to walk through here without touching those? It's really hard to walk correctly in this game. Don't tell me they did this shit on purpose, too. Careful, Ethan. You got two broken ribs, dude. Don't touch that shit. That was wrong. Coward. Oh, what? No, I'm not leaving. Stay. I didn't come this far to give up now. I've got to go all the way if I want to save Sean. That's what I'm saying. 
Alright, this one... Is this one off? I don't know. Oh, we gotta go through. Don't mess it up, come on. Watch it back. Alright, this one doesn't look like it has sparks. So at least not really. Be careful. Ooh, careful. We gotta get to this one. Okay, we gotta get to this next one. Got this. Oh my god, wait, what? Are we supposed to tap X over and over? Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. Yeah, we got this. Should we should we Yeah, no, I don't think we should be going through this one. What's going on? This one. Hurry. Hurry up. Gotta be quick. You made it. Okay, cool. Jesus. Alright, hurry up. I guess this one. Yeah, we could crawl under here, actually. Hurry up. Alright, we did it. We're doing well, we're doing well. This one's broken. Ish. Alright, let's do this one. Careful, Ethan. Come on, make it. Make it through. Come on. Okay. Watch out, don't move too much over there. Is this the final one? I think this one's the final one. Jump through! Ooh. Damn. Ugh, we made it. Alright, I think we need that. I guess we completed the trial. Oh my god. <sighs> Only... <sighs> god damn it, dude. We gotta hurry up. We made it through here at least, without dying. What could possibly be next, honestly? Wednesday, 9.06 p.m. Oh, he left his door open. Is he passed out on the floor? Yep.
Oh my god. Well, he did get electrocuted, so yeah, like twice. There you go, come on. Alright, let's get him up. Come on. She's doing a lot for being a stranger. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Hmm. What? He looks awake. You've got a hell of a fever. <laughs> All right, we need to get him something for the fever. But I'll... are those burn marks on your chest? Yeah. How bad is it, dude? I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Oh, Jesus, man. That shit's gonna get infected. Hardcore. Yeah, we should probably go get it. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. Alright, well, we should go get him what he needs, is what we should do. So, let's go do that. We need to get him something for fever, and something for the burns. So let's see. Alright, yeah, that cream will be good. Alright. He has a fever, so we need to give him something for the fever. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Ointment, disinfectant, medicine. Anti sleeping pills, antibiotics, uh, anti fever. That should help with the fever. I need to put the ointment. Carefully. Oh my god. I didn't know Sorry. I had to keep doing it over it and over. Alright, let's try again. Slowly. Alright, slowly. That should ease the pain. Okay. We got that. Now we need a uh, disinfectant. Take care of the cuts. Slowly. What? Are you kidding me? Sorry. I'll go easier. I'm trying to. Okay, I get it. I get it. So after I complete it, I release. Okay. Then I do it again. Release. Okay. Do it again. All right, and there you go. These cuts are clean. We need to put bandages on it. Your wounds are disinfected. Bandage. 
his arm, yeah. And there you go. But we need to give him, uh, like, uh, antibiotics. Putting it around his whole ch yeah. That's there all I can go. do. How do you feel, Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. Well, I mean, we didn't get to give him the antibiotics. Up. Yo, but the antibiotics, though. Really hope our boy recovers. You know you could probably sleep, right? He's awake. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for a long? About hours. Three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Yep, that's what I'm wondering. Memory, no choice. What? I'll, I'll say memory, I guess. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Ah. And what? Would she have been more rude about it you if I put no said choice? You were here because. You're an insomniac? Truth. I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh... It's not easy. Problems, explanations... Put problems. You, um... You got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Yep. Hypothesis, sorry. Just say sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Well, kind of. I mean, you did patch him up. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. We've help. Huh. Help. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Well, oh, I mean, it's not his fault, really. Oh, you're gonna do another one, really? Well, then again, we don't got time left, really. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Maribel Street. Or Marble Street. What the hell are we gonna have to do now? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. 
I didn't want to go back to prison. So you I tried to beat an FBI agent to death because you were afraid of straight. parole? We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. Sean's mother. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was... Is she accusing him of being the origami killer? There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Oh my god. Holy shit. 